French president of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, everybody! Oui, oui, merci beaucoup. Bonjour, paper machete. I am French head of the NRA, Wayne Lapierre. Shoot the kid, stand your ground, it's your right. And I'm here for two reasons. One, why did the Beatles use our national anthem at the beginning of All You Need Is Love? Très weird, no? I will leave that unresolved, though. The second reason I am here is because summer is ending, which means gun violence will go down, Chris said. And you may say, Wayne, it's too soon for a gun violence bid, to which I say, this is America, it's always too soon. Uh, you say too soon, I say, to which tragedy have you not recovered? <laughs> if you don't like dark, this is going to be a rough six minutes, so I would get ready. And remind yourselves, this is satire, I don't mean what I'm saying. But no, I know, paper machete, you're so used to points without nuance that you can agree with easily. Oh, make sure you can applaud it something later, don't worry. And you may say, after I make that dark bit, Hey, Wayne, I got a new complaint. To which I say, open up your heart shape box to me. That was a forced in Nirvana riff. The scrap seems like a combo of people too young and too old to get it all at the same time. So. <laughs> right in that sweet spot of no one knowing in utero. <laughs> it is, uh, oh, I would like, yeah, I should make a point that Chris asked me to do this yesterday when I was drunk at the Cubs game, so I did not write this till I sobered up at midnight last night, so we're going to see. <laughs> I, I was drunk as a skunk, you know. It's, which this character is based on Pepe Le Pew. But when I play him, he's Pepe Le Pew 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 Pew. Thank you. Pepe Le Pew, the Harvey Weinstein of the skunk community. It's true, if nothing else, no? And after that joke, you may be saying, Hey, why? I got a new pump line. To which I say, hey, it's Wayne's world, you're all just part of it, party on, Gar. <laughs> that was a forced in Dana Carvey reference. <laughs> was that the line? <laughs> Too soon, Dana Carvey, I miss him every day. On TV, he's still alive. <laughs> but now since gun legislation is being passed, people always say, guns only have one purpose, which is to kill people. So, in case there has to be multi-purpose, I made this. This is the baguette bayonet. <laughs> it fires 7,000 rounds a second, but if the bullets don't kill you, the carbs certainly will. <laughs> Anyone here on Atkins? <laughs> so that was a forced in Atkins diet reference. <laughs> this cost me $4 to do that bit. So it's 10% of my machete pay. I spent 10% of what we make on these. I also brought tape, and it's like, why not? Okay. Um, <laughs> and you may say, Wayne, are you willing to protect all constitutional rights no matter what? No, of course not. I am against abortion. Or as we call it in France, la bourchon. <laughs> la bourchon, the finest wine in France. It comes from a la bourchon region, and as you may have guessed, it is a red wine. <laughs> hey, Wayne! I got a new complaint. That was me after that joke. That was me impersonating you guys. Because <laughs> you didn't like it. <laughs> but I am pro-life when it comes to zygotes and fetuses. Once it's a full-grown child, que sera, sera. <laughs> But guns keep everyone safe. You want to protect yourself from the government. Why, well, look at Les Miserables. <laughs> Do you think someone gets thrown in jail for stealing bread if they are armed? No. That is why I'm rewriting an updated version of Les Mis, where Jean Valjean's name is Gon Valdon. <laughs> but there are many fictional characters in film when you think about how safe they would be if they had only had a gun. Think about Edward Scissorhands if instead he was Edward AR-15 Hands. Yeah. Yeah. 
Would he have been bullied so much by Anthony Michael Hall, Trino? I will admit his haircut and landscaping skills would have gone downhill. But he would have been able to bone one of the rider in peace. Imagine, Sarah Perry, if she had a gun, she could have shot that guy jacking off on the train, no? She would have been standing her ground. That's a new law, is you have to shoot men who are jacking off. I thought that would get applause, but no. Too many guys in here jack off, I get it. It's, uh, not me, I'm a eunuch. <laughs> Little known when la beer fact. And I will admit something to you all. Since you Americans love your conspiracy theories from JFK's to Jean Bonnet Ramsey's, <laughs> I have been spreading guns around America to bring your country down so France can rise to prominence again. Just like the days of Napoleon. You all thought when Lapierre was working with the Russians. No, I was working with Macron and Celine Dion. <laughs> All the great French minds have been working to bring America down. From Gerard Depardieu to Daft Punk. To the guy who made Red Balloon. That was the most obscure reference of the day. As far back as French Impressionists, Monet and Manet, we have been constructing a way to bring you all down and you have all fallen for it with guns. So now, when Americans visit France, you will see how much greater we are with free healthcare no guns, and the freedom to have sex with a 15-year-old. <laughs> Which, tragically, the legal age of consent in France is 15. That's real. <laughs> Not necessarily funny, but just a fact. <laughs> so next time you get on your eye horse about saving us in World War II, remember this face. And vive la revolution, vive la France. And thoughts and prayers to you, America. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Kick it, DJ. <laughs> French NRA president, Wayne Lapierre. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you're regular, you might know that that wasn't really Wayne Lapierre. Uh, that was the brilliant Joe Fernandez! Take him out, homie! Wow. We can't make paper machete without that guy. Good job. Good job.